trio Incantata. They'll sing us a sweet tune to break. Go for it. Rum ba da ba da boom. You're a mean one, ba -da Mr. Grinch. Ba dum ba dum ba You really are a deal. Boom. You're as cuddly as a cactus. You're as charming as a meal, Mr. Grinch. You a bad banana with a greasy black teeth. Ba dee da dee dum. Ba dee da dee dum. Ba dee ba dum ba. <laughs> I'm so happy you're still with us. Entertainers here. I'm Tanya Rush in for Denise Plant, the man who can do it all, our good friend Jesse Ogas. Bakes, sings, helps the community. We try. Jesse <laughs> brings his special friends who are part of Trio Incantata. Beautiful sounds. Loved it. Happy Andy fell to Mr. Grinch. <laughs> 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 right. A holiday favorite. I loved it. First, we have bis um, Biscochitos. Biscochitos. That's right. Right here? So Biscochitos nice. are a New Mexican, it's the New Mexican official state cookie, it really is. Uh -uh. But it's a traditional <laughs> cookie, and you can see I've cut it out into different shapes, little yeah. stars, little trees. But growing up in New Mexico, um, during this time of the year, there was always a battle of who made the best Biscochitos, <laughs> right? Yeah. And so yeah. in southern New Mexico, we'd say, we make the best Biscochitos. Uh -huh. In northern New Mexico, they'd say, no, we make the Biscochitos. Oh, my <laughs> Lord, I had no idea. The, the thing that, that differentiates a Biscochito and Italians use it a lot in their baking, mm -hmm. is anise. So anise is a anise. seed, the anise seed. So, and you can see them in there. If you look really closely, you can yeah. see the little anise seed. So for people that don't like the seed, they use the uh, extract, anise extract, mm -hmm. to flavor it. But it's not the same. And then once you bake it, and the recipe is on on, on Facebook. Yes, it is. We've got it on there. If you have any questions, just let us know. I'll be happy to, to walk you through it. The cinnamon and sugar is what you roll them in after they're, they're baked and they're hot, and the cinnamon sticks, it flavors and brings out the anise. I love it. And uh, mm. like in biscottis. Biscottis. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Italians, yeah. that's what's Biscotti. in that. <laughs> um, okay, yeah. So it sounds like a lot of families have different versions of this. They do. Uh, it's on our Facebook page, so visit that and uh, share your stories about the Biscochis, right? There you go. Biscochitos. Biscochitos. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I have a lot of different things. Biscotti, biscochitos. All right. Um, what's this? So these are, uh, people call them polvodones, or b because they're, they're rolled in powdered sugar. And what's that again? It's polvodones. Polvodones. Yeah, that's pretty damn close. Okay. <laughs> or they, they call them a Saint Nick. Saint and Nick's good. So Mexican wedding cookies, <laughs> yes. pretty much uh -huh. the same thing. The only difference is, and this is a really simple recipe that's also on our Facebook page, but it, you can deviate with the nuts that you use. These ones have pecans, chopped mm. pecans, and black walnuts. It Ooh. absolutely, those two nuts together, Compliment and they're really? flavorful. Yes, oh, I love that. a delicious holiday cookie. What about goatee? What, what, <laughs> what am I? Uh, where is this going? So, goatee so cookies. D, D, Yolanda, and I. So I'm. People aren't used to seeing me in a goatee, especially when because it's oh. all white. But I play the Archbishop in a play that we're in that uh, runs tonight and closes tomorrow at Su Teatro called The Miracle at Tepeyac. Mm -hmm. And I'm the Archbishop. Yolanda plays that feisty little church. I didn't have to grow. Really? <laughs> and, no. then, and, and then she just Dee plays the maintenance me. guy. See, that's perfect. Perfect. <laughs> I like that. Um, at the end here, we have the uh, so luminarias. Or luminarias. farolitos or luminarias. Depending on where in New Mexico you grew up, they either call them farolitos in the northern or where I grew up in Silver City, New Mexico, they were called luminarias. So luminarias are very traditional. Today, if you go to Old Town, um, Albuquerque, on Christmas Eve, you'll see everything colored with luminarias. They're beautiful. It shines. And the whole purpose of luminarias, um, if you break the word down, it's light the way. And so it's a tradition that was done during what we call the posadas, which is we reenact through song and through script, we reenact the um, Mary and Joseph looking for a place to stay with the little luminaria. So course. today, people use them even here in Colorado, Southern yeah, Colorado, I, I especially. Grew up with them in Tamales, oh, yeah. Wyoming. There it is. <laughs> so there you You'll go. You line your there sidewalk you or your driveway. Yeah. So speaking of song, can we hear something oh, that well, relates? Sure. Sure. Bing, bong, bing, bong. Bing, bong. I'm dreaming of a one. Christmas, just like the ones I used to know, where the treetops glisten. 
listen and children listen to hear sleigh bells in the snow I'm dreaming of a white Christmas with every Christmas card I write May your days be merry and bright And may all your Christmases be white Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas. <laughs> Alright, thank you so much, Jesse and friends. Beautiful. Yay. Remember from the Biscochito recipe on our Facebook. <laughs> Biscochito recipe. I have to give my hands. I have to use my hands. Search Colorado and Company for our Facebook. You can also share your picture and holiday memories about that or anything else. All right. From cookies to brownies, you're going to like this. Um, there's a kid you're going to meet. Delicious treats. It'd be a great way for any um, holiday tradition or an addition for that holiday party coming up. It's all about brownies and stuffing brownies. And I've never met a brownie no, I don't like. I know. <laughs> <laughs>